Warm congratulations to Bexemco and its new health division for developing this beautiful facility to produce personal protective equipment for the global market. For Bangladesh, this is a triumph of economic diversification beyond the ready-made garment industry. The state-of-the-art facility demonstrates Bangladesh's enterprises can meet the exacting standards of products in the healthcare industry around the world, and Bangladeshi workers can produce any product the global market demands. And for the world, the new Bexemco facility marks an important step in the diversification of the global supply chain, especially for healthcare equipment. The world learned an important lesson, as you've heard, at the start of the global COVID-19 pandemic, when the normal free movement of essential goods, such as protective masks and gowns for healthcare workers, was choked off as some countries diverted production to eternal, internal use only. And that provided the need, of course, for alternatives in the supply chain and highlighted the risk of over-dependence on single sources. And Bexemco instantly saw the dangers of this dependence and invested to meet the challenge. And it's not the first time Bexemco has risen to the challenge posed by a disrupted supply chain. Last year, at the height of the first wave of the pandemic, Bexemco provide, pivoted from producing garments to protective equipment. And we were astonished at the U.S. Embassy by how quickly, how, how nimble Bexemco uh, moved production lines to begin to master the specialized fabrication techniques, set up those lines, and produce 6.5 million gowns for distribution in the United States through the Federal Emergency Management Administration. So thank you again for responding to the needs of the uh, American people and once again demonstrating the strong partnership between our two great nations. Producing protective equipment for the healthcare industry will add to the robust and growing trade relationship between the United States and Bangladesh. Bangladesh annually ships $6.7 billion in goods to America, nearly double the value of a decade ago. Much of this is in the forms of garments, in the form of garments, but I'm happy to see exports diversifying thanks to nimble, forward-looking ventures like Bexemco's health initiative. The United States annually exports $2.3 billion worth of goods to Bangladesh, ranging from airplanes to grains. Our exports have grown more than fourfold in the past decade. We share a common perspective on the value of trade and free enterprise in a nation's progress, and let me take this opportunity to congratulate Bangladesh on your 50th anniversary of independence. As you know, the United States has been a strong partner throughout that remarkable five-decade journey, and we look forward to applauding and commemorating and celebrating this uh, milestone with you this year. Whenever there's a crisis, there's always an opportunity. So when the, while the fashion business was crashing, the PPE business was growing at a phenomenal rate and there was a short worldwide shortage of PPE, including Bangladesh. And Bexemco started off by importing a lot of PPE and distributing it. But we found that uh, every four days the price would shoot up and it was a very unstable situation. And the same was going across the world. So we decided that, okay, here's the opportunity. Let's get into PPE. And that will help us to... And then we were lucky that we picked up an order from the U.S. with Haynes for about six and a half million pieces. And we had the skill set because we asked ourselves that what is Bexemco's strengths? So Bexemco's strengths uh, sort of, you know, were in handling complex projects with lots of technology and really fast tracking them. So we, we have a 350, 300 acre industrial park where we manufacture vertically something like 120 to 130 million garments per year. And uh, that park we built in 18 months from the time we broke ground. So we can do things fast. We have a global reach and we have a very strong uh, engineering team 
And I must say that uh, the 70,000 employees as a whole which Bexemco has, and particularly the ones who were involved in this project, uh, they are unbelievable. The testing facility for the PP and mask, it was not available in our country, especially all the tests. We could do only say level uh, one and level two PP test and some of the tests for mask. So here uh, today I have seen that Intertech is working here. They have established a laboratory. I will, of course, we will visit the laboratory and uh, what uh, the discussions we took place that it will be a very fantastic one. And I hope that uh, all the test requirement for your PP and mask, this laboratory will be able to do it. And I must thank Intertech that they came forward and they uh, agreed to collaborate with us. And we said that, uh, and so then uh, today the fact that this facility is being inaugurated is a really very, very uh, happy occasion for us because I think uh, as the DGDA General Mahbub was saying that uh, the uh, all the tests are going to be able to be done in uh, uh, Bangladesh was asking this question and uh, uh, <clears throat> what happened was that uh, what the local uh, Intertech rep uh, clarified that uh, uh, all the type, all the tests required for level 4, 5 as well as for the uh, N95 masks that will now be able to be done locally. This will really help not only Beximco but I think the entire uh, uh, business community, the entire manufacturing, uh, PPE manufacturing industry in Bangladesh. Like the General Mahbub has been telling us that he has already uh, given uh, author uh, authorization to a number of companies, over 50, to produce PPE. Now, this is, most of them are selling locally. But once this facility of testing is available and they, all the companies can now uh, get their products tested, I think this will become a big new uh, export item for uh, Bangladesh.